The Evening News understands that former employees, their families, and other supporters will gather at the Ministry of the Presidency tomorrow morning to intensify their calls for the termination benefits. It was further revealed that the protest is likely to be taken to the High Court as almost one year has passed for the matter to be called up before a judge. The Wills Estate shut down official operations in December 2016 and some displaced cane cutters are yet to receive their severance pay. I, I get them difficult because we get two day, three day work with these people. You got with that people get a couple day work. Plus you got to pick people for school. Every day you got to find five, six hundred dollars for the assignment. Despite this, former employer, the Ghana Sugar Corporation, maintains the cane harvesters are not entitled to these benefits, with Acting Chief Executive Officer Paul Bim saying that Gaisuko has honored all its obligations regarding the payment of severance at the Wales Estate. Meantime, the Guyana Agricultural and General Workers Union says that it is disturbed by reports that Enmore and Skeldon will resume temporary operations, with cane cutting being given out to a contractor reportedly from West Coast Demerara. Dismissed workers at those estates were paid all or part of their severance just weeks after those entities closed in December last, a move which many displaced Wales workers feel is unfair. Can they get the people in I don't know why, but over one year and two months, we suffer. Shemuel Fanfare, The Evening News.